What's up, citizens of Altea? I'm back with another video still about increasing your battle points on Dragonest M. If last time we had the discussion of the importance of the deer crafting, for today we're moving on to the cutest way, but probably one of the hardest way to increase your battle points on the game. Drum roll, please. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Fairies. No, not those fairies. Dragonest M has its own set of adorable fairies that are categorized into four grades. The C grade, the B grade, the A grade, and the S grade fairies. The S grade fairies are the strongest and give ginormous amount of, of battle points, but they are very rare. There are various ways to acquire fairies, uh, but the main way to have them is by summoning them from eggs. Well, there are two types of fairy eggs, the precious fairy egg and the rare fairy egg. Both of them could be bought from the fairy shop. Uh, when you buy um, pirate rice balls in the fairy shop, you'll get one free precious fairy egg for every purchase of the pirate balls. And these pirate balls cost gold. Similarly, when you buy awakening potion in the fairy shop, you'll get one free rare egg per purchase. These awakening potions cost 218 dragon coins each. But you'll get discount if you buy 10 for only 1,980 Dragon Coins. I know, that could be expensive for a lot of us players. But don't worry, because Dragonest M gives away 5 free precious eggs and 1 free rare egg every day. Anyway, Summoning precious fairy eggs could roll either a C-grade fairy or a B-grade fairy or some low-grade fairy food. On the other hand, summoning rare eggs could roll you um, an S-grade or an A-grade, B-grade fairies, fairy party cake, and awakening potion. Uh, it's also good to note that for every 10 summons from rare eggs, the game guarantees that you'll get at least an A-grade fairy. So, that means you can also get an S-grade fairies, but that's really, really rare, 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 rare to happen. Even I, that have already summoned a lot of rare eggs, haven't rolled an S-grade yet. Are you one of those lucky folks who rolled an S-grade fairy from a rare egg? Comment down below and let me know your experience. Now that you have obtained a fairy, you must deploy them in order for your character's battle points to benefit from them. You'll start with one slot at a certain level, then it will increase up to four slots as you level up. That means you may deploy up to four fairies at a time. Among those four, you may choose to set a captain. The skill of the fairy that, you, that you're gonna choose to be the captain will be the ones you'll benefit from. So for example, since I have an innocent Iona as captain, I benefit from its skill, a chance to trigger unyielding blah 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 when HP drops below 10%. The fairy system doesn't end up there yet. Because you can further strengthen your fairies, which in turn further increases your battle points. First way is by leveling them up. You can level up your fairies by feeding them with any of the three fairy foods. The pirate rice balls, the canned food for fairy, and the fairy party cake. Uh, the pirate rice balls and the canned food, uh, you may cook them at your character's home. And you may also get any of these three foods from the eggs or by salvaging any unwanted lower grade fairies. Each level up of your fairies increases your battle points, but you may not level up your fairy to a level higher than your character. That means if you are level 50, you are only allowed to level up your fairy up to level 50 as well. Another way to strengthen your fairies is by 
awakening them. If you look at the details of your fairy, you'll see the fairy talents. When you summon a fairy, they have this default fairy talents value. And in order to change that, you must awaken the fairy. You will need awakening potions, which you could get from the rare eggs or buy it from the fairy shop. If you do the awakening, the game will assign random values to those talents. Uh, why don't we try it and see for ourselves? I will awaken my tail blue crystal fairy here and see what's gonna happen on the fairy talents. See, the fairy talents could increase or decrease for every awakening. So if you're not yet happy on the result, you may awaken it again. Provided, of course, that you still have awakening potions. The third way to strengthen your fairies is by training and ascension. Training costs fairy ascension potions. The number of potions you need to train your fairy varies depends on the grade of your fairy and how many ascensions your fairy has already done. For every training, your fairy will randomly improve its base attributes. You'll see this bonus on the current train bonus section. Each training also gives your fairy 100 points, which fill up this bar here. Once this bar is full, your fairy can ascend. Once your fairy ascends, it will earn um, a star. The train bonus you acquire while training your fairy will be also permanent. So, make sure that you're happy with the training bonus you got Otherwise, you could revert your fairy. Reverting your fairy will reset all your current training bonus and you'll get back the ascension potions you used. However, reverting costs some dragon coins or awakening potions. Uh, as I mentioned a while ago, the number of ascension potions you need to train your fairy depends on the grade of your fairy and the number of ascensions your fairy has done. So here's a cool table that you can use for future reference. Again, there are three ways to strengthen your fairies. Leveling up, awakening, and ascension. All of which contribute to your battle points. So, do you understand now how the fairy system works on Dragonist M? If you do, please like this video. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you'll get notified when I publish new videos. Thank you!